Yes, people, what's going on? Welcome to Adam McCola TV. I'm Adam. I'm just leaving Old Trafford where Manchester United have cemented their place in the fifth round of the FA Cup by beating Reading 3 1. And it was absolutely Joga Benito, Samba football at Old Trafford today. All the goals coming from our Brazilian midfielders, Anthony as well with a man of the match performance, Casemiro. Casemiro. Hard to believe it's not skulls. That second goal is wearing the 18 shirt. He nonchalantly passes it into the back of the net from about 30 yards. What a strike that was from Casemiro. And it sealed the game for Manchester United after his first goal as well with a good pass. Move into the box. He collects the ball from Anthony, um, who, again, I thought did very, very well today. And he's impressed me in his last couple of appearances for Manchester United. There's been a lot of talk about Anthony and his performances and about the prize tag and about all this stuff. He's on course for a, you know, 10-goal season for Manchester United. He picks up another assist today, another impressive performance. And I know Casemiro stole the show with both of his goals and Fred flicking the ball into the box. Um, that's the most Brazilian thing he's ever done, by the way. And uh, I know those kind of things stole the show, but I thought Anthony was very good for United today and uh, he really, really impressed me. So well done to him, working hard. He's not taking the criticism too badly that he's getting. He's not, you know, under all the pressure from... Um, he's not under pressure from, you know... All the, you know, he's getting a lot of headlines and stuff and he's not allowed that to affect his mentality, affect his performance. And I also think it's massively, massively important yo, for what, yo, yeah, say, as I was saying, he's not allowed that criticism um, to affect his performances, affect the contribution he makes to the team. Um, I think, you know, he's much fallen into that kind of martial position where he gets criticised at times, um, even though he's playing a good role for the team. We saw against uh, Arsenal the other day, we took Anthony off. We lost our shape on the pitch. Um, Zinchenko starts influencing the game a lot more. So I think Anthony is massively important for this team. He knows exactly how um, Eric Ten Hag's size play football. He knows the tactics well um, and is beginning to impress. But today, as I said, all about Casemiro. Um, what a fantastic goal from him um, today um, for that second goal. And as I said, the first goal, uh, a fantastic pass and move. Um, and then Fred wrapping it up. And that's all you really expect against Reading at home. I don't think the first half performance was much to write home about at all. Um, I think, you know, when you look at the first half performance, we could have been 1-0 up, a goal disallowed for Marcus Rashford, which would have made it 10 in a row at Old Trafford and would have broken the record of Dennis Violet. As it is, he didn't score today, so he only equals the record. Um, but again, Wout Vegors being given offside, despite the fact the defender played the ball. Now, I personally think those decisions should always be offside. But do you remember the Salah one against uh, Wolves, was it? Um, I think, you know, Tati goes to play the ball um, in the Wolves' defence. Um, Salah's in a mo miles offside, miles, miles offside. And even though he's in an offside position, because because the attack, uh, the defender, sorry, has played the ball, he's counted as onside and a second phase of play. So I thought that was an incorrect decision. And Marcus Rashford should be sitting on the record and he should be sitting on 10 goals in a row at Old Trafford. So that's unfortunate for him and disappointing for me today because all it was missing was a clean sheet and um, a goal from Marcus Rashford. Um, but I mean, his performance, I don't think his performance particularly deserved a goal today. Um, what else made the game fun? Andy Carroll gets said tough. Um, I didn't even realise he was playing for the first 20, 30 minutes. He's, he's a big lump and you usually can't miss him, but he hardly entered Manchester United's box. It was even a point where they swung the ball into the box and he didn't really attack it or go for it or, you know, go to challenge for it with his head. So I found that really weird. He, he made a late challenge on Casemiro, picked up his second yellow. I hadn't noticed picking him up, picking up the first yellow. So when he got sent off by the referee, I was a little bit surprised, but the crowd absolutely gave him the reception he deserved as he trudged off the pitch. Reading did get a goal back. Um, despite the fact United were 3-0 up and playing against 10 men, maybe we could have gone for the throat a little bit. Maybe that's something we have to learn um, and get to grips with as, as the next couple of months of this season and you go into next campaign. We have to be more ruthless when we're playing against teams. Yesterday, we got job done 3-0 up. You know, you're cruising. But when you're playing 10 men, go and get more goals. I know we don't have to worry about goal difference in the FA Cup and we're through to the next round. We're still in the hat. That's all that matters. But go for some more goals. You know what I mean? Um, so... All in all, today was a very good day at Old Trafford. 
I get to come here and see United win. And that's the thing at the moment. This place is becoming a little bit of a fortress. I know today is only Reading, but you come in and um, one of my pals that I speak with, uh, one of the Welsh Reds in Justice, who sits in front of me, he turned around to me and goes, I'm just expecting us to win when we go, go home today uh, to Old Trafford. And it's true, every time we come to Old Trafford at the moment, you're expecting Manchester United to win, whether, play, whether we're playing Manchester City, whether we're playing Reading. And that's a sign of a good team. We're not taking our eye off the ball when we're playing teams that we should be beating. And when we're playing the big boys and we're playing the teams that, you know, give us a game, we're competing and we're winning those games as well. My man of the match, as I said, was Anthony today, but Casemiro getting the goals. And look, I knew he was a he was a he was a fantastic defensive midfielder, and it's something that we've been crying out for at Manchester United for so long, and we go and buy the best one in the world. But I didn't realise just how much of a good footballer he was with the ball at his feet, scoring goals like that. I didn't expect it, passing and moving into the box, making those long Boston runs and dinking it over the goalkeeper. I didn't expect it. And Casemiro is bringing that. And you looked at the pitch today, and he's playing out there against Reading in the FA Cup. And he's got a big smile on his face. He's absolutely adoring what he's doing at Manchester United at the moment. And I think that says a lot about what Eric Ten Hag's doing. Because Casemiro is a man that's won how many Champions Leagues? I've lost count. He's won more than us, though. <laughs> that's how many Champions Leagues he's won. He's won all those trophies. He's come from Real Madrid, one of the best teams in the world. And he's playing for Manchester United like he's never won a trophy. Like he's still an 18-year-old lad. And that shows you that he must believe in what Eric Ten Hag's building here. And again, we might not win the league this season. In fact, we probably won't win the league this season. But um, we're looking like we, we could win some trophies. We could bring some silverware back to Old Trafford. And that has been an awfully long time since that happened as well. Obviously, we've got to keep an eye on the FA Cup draw. That's tomorrow. We've got Nottingham Forest coming here um, on uh, midweek. And we're 3-0 up against them in the, in the League Cup semi-final. So all being well... We should be going to a final in the League Cup. We're into the fifth round of the FA Cup, you know. Um, we're sitting in the top four in the Champions League. Not doing too badly uh, in the Premier League. We're not doing too badly at all. So long may it continue. Manchester United need to keep going. And um, yeah, all in all, a great day today here at Old Trafford. Um, even against Reading now, I was turning up thinking we're going to rest loads of players. But no, Ten Hag started a full strength team, only one change from that game um, against, uh, who was the last game? Arsenal, um, or whoever it was, Forrest, sorry. Um, and that was Harry Maguire coming in at the back in place of Lissandro Martinez. So a great day here at Old Trafford today. I'm absolutely buzzing. United are through to the next round of the FA Cup. K Sara Sara, she wore a scarlet ribbon and all that. And guys, I'm going to get out of here for now, but make sure you're hitting that subscribe button, liking, commenting, sharing on the day where Manchester United turned into Brazil. I'm out of here.